Now, one of the things I have not called attention to yet is checking the progress of all the links, all the photos we've been putting into our InDesign files. So I'm gonna go over a demo called Live Pre-Flighting. This is a way for InDesign to be constantly checking your file for errors as you work. So I'm gonna to go to File and Open, go to Chapter 3 and Folder 17, Live Pre-Flighting, and I'll open up this file and immediately I get an error. And I did that on purpose, but I wanna show you how to fix those. This document contains a link that is missing. Well, I'll click OK. And if I look down in the bottom bar, there is a red light. It says this file has two errors. Okay, when I click this little pop-up bar on the right of that two errors, there is a pre-flight panel. I'm gonna click that and it says, you have two errors on this page. One error has to do with your links or your photo and the other one has to do with the text. I mean, at first glance, this page looks fine. So I'm not really sure what they're referring to but I'm gonna trust InDesign. I'm gonna trust this pre-flight panel. So let's click on the links and I don't even know what the error is. So I'm gonna to toggle this triangle open it says, the problem you have with your links is you have a missing link. Okay, let me click on that. Let's click on the name of the photo. Like, well, great. I see the photo right there. I don't know what they mean. Why is it missing? It's right there on my page. Well, I'm going to click on the info triangle. It says, the problem is the linked file is missing. How do you fix it? You go to your links panel and use the re-link button. So let me zoom in on this guy and see what the heck's going on. Well, the picture looks pretty pixelated. It's not exactly the best quality. And that's because this is a low resolution preview. InDesign actually can't find the actual photo from my desktop. Okay, this is a low resolution preview. So I'm gonna click on it with my black arrow. And just so you know, if you're not sure which photo this pre-flight panel is referring to, to the far right is a direct access. Click to select the error. So it will highlight that box for me, which is a nice feature. Okay, why is this a missing link? I don't get it. Well, I'm gonna to go to my links panel up here and it says the name of the file is bigfootmonster.psd. For some reason, InDesign is going out to the desktop and it's trying to find this file, bigfootmonster.psd. For some reason, it can't find that, even though I've got a little preview marker here. It's low resolution and pixelated because it's not the actual file, it's a preview. So what I'm going to do is when I see this little stop sign with the missing link, you're not ready to print. Okay, you're going to get a pixelated low resolution preview of your photo. So I need to update and fix that link. So I can either, let me pull this out so you can see this a little clearly. I can either double click this missing, double click to relink or click the chain relink. Okay, if I know that I got the red light, stop, don't print, I'm just going to double click that red symbol there. And now it says go locate the missing file called Bigfoot Monster. Well, if I go to my desktop, go to InDesign Tutorials for Chapter 3 and Folder 17, notice the difference in the file names. It's called Bigfoot, not Bigfoot Monster. So... The main lesson here is once you save your files on your desktop and you put them in their folders, don't change their names. When I made this file for our demos, I put this photo in there when the photo was called Bigfoot Monster. Then I went out, I saved this file, closed up InDesign, then I changed the name and took off the word monster. You can't do that. The file names have to match. So 
InDesign is looking everywhere for a file called Bigfoot Monster. Well, the word monster doesn't exist anymore. So it's getting confused. Well, I know this is the same photo, but InDesign's not looking at the picture. It's looking at the file names. So once you put a file into an InDesign document, do not go back and change the names of your files. That breaks the links. So you have to re-link them. So now I find the file called Bigfoot. I open it. And now he looks nice and crisp and clean. He doesn't look all pixelated. Okay, that's perfect. Well, my pre-flight panel says I still have one problem with my text. So I'm going to zoom out here. And I'm going to open up that triangle. It says you have overset text. What overset text means is the text frame is too small and I have more type than what can fit in this frame. Okay, if I hit the letter W for preview, you can see a little red box with a plus in the lower right corner. Because remember, type will enter from the upper left and it'll come down to the lower right. This plus means there is additional type that I am not seeing. This sentence says, now go on and, and what? Okay, I've cut off the last line of type. I have additional type. So what can I do to fix that? Well, if I'm not sure which text frame, if I've got a multi-page document, I can click right here. It will select the text frame for me. And then down below, it says fix. How do you fix it? You resize the text frame or edit your text to fit within that frame. Well, the simplest way, I don't want to edit and cut off sentences, is I just go to the bottom point and pull that down. Just make my box a little bigger. Now, this does not have a plus in it. I've got a green light. There's no more errors. There's nothing else to fix down here. And I've got a green light, go for print. Okay, W for preview. Now the last sentence is now, go on and learn more about InDesign. Enough of this crazy collector talk. So I've just updated all the errors in my InDesign file by looking at my pre-flight panel. And I have a green light, I am ready to print. So never underestimate InDesign. It is constantly holding your hand in the background even if you don't know it. It's right down here where it's counting the errors. You click the pop-up on the right, pre-flight panel. Usually I don't worry that about this till toward the end. First I just want to get all my artwork on the page, then I start looking for errors. But you can have this in the corner, it's just, it takes up space on your screen. So I usually just kind of keep my eye down here if I'm working and all of a sudden I get a red light, I might click here, go to my pre-flight panel and fix that error instead of waiting till the end, but that's totally up to the designer. But that's how you fix all the problems with your InDesign files, using pre-flight checks.